Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. And it has been a busy day here on the homestead. It is a beautiful April day. Weather's nice. And it is time to now get to the next portion of our planning schedule for this year's garden. Now, before we get to our next planting of, of items, we just wanted to kind of take a look and, and kind of show you how the, the onions are doing since this is what's been planted. And you may notice that there's some other stuff in here. So there's some of this, it looks like maybe some peas. This is like a cover crop. There's some clover in here. There's some, uh, it's a cover crop that I put in here earlier in the season, right? Actually, before we actually even planted this. And it's just now starting to come alive and it, and it may look like it's, um, it's not gonna hurt the other plants. It just kinda, you know, like when it gets like this portion of it here, I'll just kinda, kinda crimp it down and kinda chop it and drop it. Just leave it there and just let it kinda uh, mulch into the dirt. You know, we'll put some more uh, mulch, actually like straw or whatever this is, um, actually through here later on, a little bit later. Um, not today, but probably in about a, another month. But you can see these onions are looking pretty good. We can actually probably start pulling these. They're gonna be small, but you could probably pull them and use them. And, and like I said, you know, we're gonna go through here and say like, well, we're gonna pull this one out, then we'll pull this one out, then come over here and pull this one out and leave the ones that are like in between so they get nice and big. And we have this bed that's full of onions and this bed over here that has just half of its onions and you, as you can tell these things are really going well over here this bed's a little fuller so they look a little taller but they're about the same height same size and then on this side over here is where we're going to plant the lettuce which is coming up right now okay like i was saying we're going to plant some lettuce on this side of the bed and what we'll do is we'll just kind of clear off some of this stuff that's on top and i've kind of made a trench right in here this doesn't have a trench in it, but the the top of the soil, since it doesn't have a cover crop or those kind of things on it, it's a little rigid. It gets a little tough. So you kind of have to break it up just a little bit. And so what I'm doing is just kind of going down the, straight down the middle, kind of making a little bit of a hole, not too deep. And I'm gonna do that all the way down for now. And then I'll come back and put the seeds in. But I just wanna have a good spot for these things and that's like a real rock. And we have three different varieties of lettuces that we're gonna do. We're gonna do a butter crunch. Now, typically how I do lettuce is I will just put in a whole bunch of seeds and then I'll thin out as needed because these things are super small and they're super hard to, to just place like you would a normal seed. And then usually this gives us a pretty good cover and we can just come in here and uh, trim them out or there we go. And we can just chop and, and as we go, as we'll start using the lettuce, we'll just go through here and start trimming it, trimming it, trimming it, trimming it, and then it'll kind of grow back and we can just keep on using it. So it works out really well. All right, so that was the butter crunch. We have two more over here. This one's a heat wave blend and this one's called Little Jim. Both of these are heat tolerant, which is really good because here in Oklahoma, here in a month, it's gonna get super warm and lettuce does not do very well in, in hot temperatures. So you have to kind of plant it early or late, depending on the time of year. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with these, just kind of spread them in here as evenly as I can. Oh, look, there's a worm. That's awesome. All right, I got all of the seeds planted, so I'm just going to come in and I just kind of pull in the dirt that I moved out of the way, just kind of gently covering them. They don't need to be super deep. And then what I'll do is I'll pull that straw back. Just kind of pat those down as I'm going back down this way. Thank you. 
And then once that starts popping through, that will, it, it will be able to work through the straw. Now they're watered in. I'm giving these guys a little bit of water. We did get some rain the last couple days, so it's not really needed, but while it's here, figured why not. And then the lettuce seed should be popping up around three or four days. So this time next weekend, we'll have little lettuce plants. All right, so now we got the lettuce planted. Now it's time to plant some zinnias. And we're gonna do these just like we did the rest of the seed starts. We got our soil mixture in here that we use on all the other seedlings. It's from a, the products called Baby Big Roots. It's an all purpose potting soil, very fine mixture. And so far it's done really good and it already has amendments already added to it. So we don't have to add any of those things. Uh, we just got this out of the bag. It's a little bit dry. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it. That should be enough. You want this to be moist, but you don't want it to be soggy. So usually if you can kind of, kind of ball it up and it stays that way without water, too much water dripping out, you're good to go. So we have like seven different varieties of zinnias over here, I do believe, or six of them. And uh, so we're gonna try to grow about like seven of each. And now what we said, seven? So we have about 40 or so of these to fill up, so I better get cracking and get going. All right, we got all of our pots filled. Now it's time to do the zinnias. And we got a variety here. So we have a, one I think it's called, Scab Scabiosa, maybe, I don't know. Jazzy Red, Mazurkia, that's really pretty looking. Persian Carpet, a Candy Cane Mix. So you got variegated petals. And then we have a Polar Bear, it's gonna be all white. So we're looking really forward to these. And typically how we do this, just like if you saw how we did our other uh, video when we did planted seedlings, we did tomatoes and peppers. Typically what we do, when I looked on here, it says seed depth, a quarter inch. So we'll just come in here and make a little hole, two little holes, because we're gonna put two seeds in one pot, and then whichever one is the better plant, we'll keep that one and get rid of the other one. Or if we need to transplant one or whatever. So we're gonna go from there. And we need, we need how many of these, seven? So we need one more. Okay. And here's the seeds. Good thing about these are big seeds. And then we'll just keep doing this. And we're gonna do about seven per different variety. So we're gonna be full of flowers. Well, we got all these zinnias planted and um, we ended up with 42 of them. And we didn't have any of the little stakes to go in here so we just put a little initial or whatever for the name i think that's a jazzy jeff one something like that i don't know i can never remember the name so there's xenia xenia one two three four five six you know kind of deal but uh so these are gonna get watered in we're gonna take them inside put them on our heat mats just like we did the other ones and if you haven't seen that make sure you watch the the video that i'm gonna put up here on top um and then in about four weeks these are gonna come back outside and we're gonna plant them in something very similar to what these beds are right beside them. This is one of our self-watering beds. We're gonna make one 
actually gonna make two of them for the zinnias and so we'll cover all that how we made them what we think um how we think these things work and let me tell you they're fantastic so if you haven't seen that video make sure you go watch it and make sure you stay um up for our next video that's going to be coming out for those things but one of the great things about planting these zinnias is not only is it going to be pretty for us and then visitors to the to the homestead but also it's going to be helpful to help us pollinate one of our new ventures here on the homestead and that's honeybees so here this last week i was able to get a couple of hives of honeybees and this is going to be part of our uh, way to feed them and uh, we're very much looking forward to the honeybee portion of it and um, you know getting honey and all that other kind of stuff but it's just interesting how these things how these animals or insects whatever you want to call them how these bees actually operate it's fantastic so looking forward to learning more about that and getting more hands-on with them but so far been great but like I was saying earlier we need to get these watered in and uh, get these things inside All right, folks, we've got everything planted for today. So thanks for coming along. Um, if you haven't seen uh, any of our other videos for this garden season, make sure you go watch them. At the very end of the video, there'll be a little playlist where you guys can click on that and see all the videos, at least for 2022. Of course, you can always go back into our, our playlist and watch any from 2020, 2021, and even beyond. So um, guys, thanks for coming back, watching the video all the way to the end. We really do appreciate that. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, Make sure you subscribe, ring that bell, so you get notified every time a video comes out. And of course, follow us on Instagram or Facebook. All those links are down below in our description. And from our homestead to yours, have a blessed day, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.